welcome back to my channel um in today's video as you can tell by the title hold on first off if you're new thank you for clicking on my video and hope you become a family member but if you my oldies what's up fam how's you doing today you good you straight you need anything all right good looking crack myself up okay so um, as you can tell by this title today I am going to discuss having dry hair and the reasons why you have dry hair all right let's get into it so the number one well these are in, in no order but first what I'm going to talk about is your environment now here in Louisiana is very humid it's it's very humid and hot now that plays a part in your hair if you're living in a dry climate like let's say Colorado and the colder states where it's dry it's going to affect your hair and it's, it's, you're gonna need to do more to it than people than uh, people from down south would have to do. If you get what I'm saying? And also your water. The water, like down south, we have hard water. There's rust, there's lead, there's all types of stuff that's like, basically it's not purified. It comes from the swamp. I'ma say it comes from the swamp because I feel like it comes from the swamp and living on this base it's filtered so if you poop or something goes through a big big tub or whatever filters out it recycles so hard water can be damaging for your hair it could change your hair type it could make your hair more dry it can it, it could just be terrible for that so you just have to take precautions and figure out how to overcome that by either getting like a water filter or a humidifier or a steamer doing going the extra step to make sure your hair is good the second one using the wrong products now some people, they just pick up anything, don't read the labels, uh, and just figure it's, it's, it's gonna work for them. It's gonna work for my hair. So, um, and things like, if you're a natural, you can't use the same things as you would as if you were relaxed or how relaxed people use different things and people who have a one hair type, you can't use the same products as they use. They can use all those silicones and and alcohols and stuff even though it's not good for their hair either but for if you're natural you need to actually look into the products that you're actually getting look in general like make sure it's alcohol free make sure sorry there's no parabens in there um minimum silicones or no silicones at all sold for free products um, and knowing the difference when to clarify your hair, yeah, clarify your hair, and when to moisturize your hair. Most people are just using those uh, those clarifying shampoos and conditioners every time they wash their hair. When reality is that you need to balance that out. You need to clarify when you have build up or if you feel like you have just your hair needs to be clean. You should only be doing that at least like once a month or so. Um, but using moisturizing shampoos and conditioners, it will say it on the box, on the bottle. It will say moisturizing shampoo, intense moisturizing shampoo, conditioner. Those of those natures, you need to look for those. Those are gonna help you put more moisture into your hair. Um, that that is missing okay number three 
getting too much protein. As you know, our hair is made out of protein. If you don't know that, now you do. Um, but your hair is made out of protein. So if you're using products that actually have protein in it, you're getting a protein overload. So you're not doing the protein and moisturizing balance. So find, find things, you should only be using protein six weeks, every six weeks or when your hair is needed. Like if you if your hair is, is always so soft and mushy, that's when you need a protein treatment. If, excuse me, that was gross. If, um, if it's not like that, you, you don't, you, you need to use it as needed. Every blue moon, you should not be using protein every single day. That's how your hair becomes hard and brittle and breaks off and becomes so dry and unmanageable. So, limit the protein. Number four, hormone changes. If you're a female, as most of you are, um, you go through hormone changes, whether you're on birth control, pregnancy, um, medicines, going through menopause, that can change your hair, that can make it dry. It can, that plays a lot, a big part of why your hair is dry. So if you don't know, take a look, you know, ask your doctor about your birth controls and everything they're gonna tell you that that can affect your body, of course, because that's what it's doing. That's what drugs do, duh. Um, and number five, using heat. You're drying out your hair because it's direct heat. You don't need to be flat ironing your hair every day. Get some rollers. Get a hooded dryer. If you're going to flat iron your hair, make sure you get a flat iron that uses steam that puts the moisture back into your hair. You don't, honestly, you shouldn't use heat at all unless it's indirect, like a hooded dryer, the things of those natures, like a diffuser or anything like that. Just stop using heat. If you stop using heat, your hair will be more moisturized and you won't, sorry, looking out the window, people driving by. Off topic. Just stop using heat. <laughs> Number six, last and final. <sighs> Your diet. You knew it was gonna come. What you put into your body affects everything. Your hair growth, your skin, your your immune system, everything. So if you're not drinking enough water, that can affect your hair and it's gonna be on the drier side. The, um, of course, your skin. If you're not eating right, if you're eating junk food, like I do all the time, is your hair is going to be on the drier side and that's why my hair is somewhat always dry because I'm always eating junk food. I live for junk food. I hate water and I live for junk food. But I have kind of cut back on junk food and all those soda drinks and everything else and pops and everything. And I have actually started drinking more water and eating right. Trying to at least. But that is gonna play a big role in how how your hair grows, how your hair feels. Take vitamin take everyday vitamins. Those vitamins are gonna actually help you with your dry hair, maybe not your dry hair, but growing your hair and just your overall health because it's, your body is getting the nutrients that it needs to produce whatever it needs to produce, okay? So, there you have it. Once you have that, and also do the research. There is so many blogs and YouTube videos on how to maintain moisture in your hair, how to 
just put moisture back into your hair how to there, there's just a lot you have you know you have to do your research and for one do the porosity test that's going to be a big difference on how your hair reacts to certain products and so once you do that start there and work your way up all right well thank you for watching my video and that's it i think is there anything else i'm forgetting yeah bye <laughs>